Jan Sterling was a great actress, and her movies still connect with people. Do you have a favorite performance of hers? Or maybe there's a specific scene that you always remember. Share your stories and thoughts in the comments below. Stay with us as we reveal interesting, surprising, and emotional facts about this classic actor. Don't forget to keep watching for more. During Hollywood's golden era, Jan Sterling was a standout actress whose talent left a mark on the big screen. People really liked her acting, and she got a lot of compliments for her performances. She played many different roles really well, capturing the audience's hearts and impressing them with how versatile she was. Throughout her career, she showed how good she was at acting, leaving behind a lasting influence that still inspires actors today. She was unforgettable in movies, proving herself as an icon. Her talent and hard work show how important she was in entertainment history, showing her lasting effect on the industry. She continues to inspire aspiring actors from different generations all over the world. Jan Sterling's important role in movies is still valued today, showing her timeless talent and influence. In the 1940s, Jan Sterling, originally known as Jane Adrians, got her stage name from Ruth Gordon. Ruth initially suggested Amethyst Adrians, inspired by gems, but Jan chose to drop Adrians and shorten her first name to Jan, matching her character's name in a play she was performing. In High School Confidential, she played the character Arlene Williams. In some European versions of the movie, two scenes were more explicit than in the American one. In one, she showed a naked breast when her co-star Russ Tamblin called her on the telephone. Another scene depicted a girl going through heroin withdrawal, also showing a naked breast as she lay uncomfortably on a bed. Sadly, Jan's son, Adams Douglas, passed away from heart failure in December 2003, just three months before Jan's own death in 2004. Despite facing personal tragedies, she left a lasting mark on the entertainment industry with her memorable performances. Jan Sterling, a renowned actress, gained recognition in 1968 from the Century Club, a collective of members from the American Jewish Congress. She received honors for her involvement in radio and television programs at the Women's Conference of the Jewish Federation Council of Greater Los Angeles. In an interesting anecdote shared on a game show pilot called Talking Pictures, she recounted swapping her plane ticket for a steamship passage after her dramatic studies in London. She used the fair difference to buy lingerie, crediting it with saving her life as the original ticket was for the Hindenburg. Jan had a close bond with Karen Sharp, a friend and mentor. Their friendship was deep-rooted, forged through shared experiences and mutual support in the entertainment industry. Karen often reminisced about the days when they spent hours perfecting their craft, exchanging tips over cups of coffee. Their connection was not just professional, but personal too, as they navigated the highs and lows of Hollywood life together. Jan Sterling's influence stretched beyond her roles on screen. She was a trailblazer, breaking barriers and inspiring generations of actresses. Her dedication to her craft and resilience continued to be a source of inspiration. Jan Sterling rose to fame in the 1950s, delivering memorable performances in movies like Ace and the Hole and The High and the Mighty. Known for playing tough characters, she received praise for her role in The Harder They Fall. Her talent earned her an Academy Award nomination for her part in The High and the Mighty. She showed her versatility in both serious and funny roles, proving her range as an actress. Sterling also received acclaim for her work on stage, including her performance in The Children's Hour. Throughout her career, she remained active in both movies and theater, captivating audiences with her dedication. She left a lasting mark on the entertainment world and is remembered as a respected actress of her time. Her work continues to be appreciated by fans. Jan Sterling, of uncertain birth year, made a name for herself as a versatile actress in both Broadway and films. In 1941, she took over Virginia Field's role in the Broadway musical Panama Hattie after Field left to marry actor Paul Douglas. By 1950, Douglas divorced Field and married Jan. Their son, Adams Douglas, later became a NASA programmer. Jan's career spanned various mediums, showcasing her ability to portray diverse characters. She received acclaim for her performances on stage and screen, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. From her early Broadway days to later appearances in movies, she brought depth and authenticity to her roles, resonating with audiences. Her influence extended beyond entertainment, inspiring future performers. Jan's life and career highlight the power of talent, perseverance, and passion in pursuing dreams. 
Through her work, she continues to inspire and entertain audiences worldwide. This is the story of an exceptional woman whose talent knew no bounds. Jan Sterling, renowned for her roles in films such as Caged and The High and The Mighty, made a significant mark in Hollywood. In Caged, she played Jedikovsky, a character that propelled her career early on. This marked only her fourth film appearance, but proved crucial. At 34, she welcomed her only child, a son named Adams Douglas, on October 20, 1955. His father was her second husband, Paul Douglas. In The High and the Mighty, Sterling portrayed Sally McKee. The film's success at the box office was remarkable, especially considering that several prominent actresses had declined roles due to the unflattering nature of the characters. Her portrayal earned her an Oscar nomination alongside Claire Trevor, despite other actresses initially hesitating to take on similar roles. Jan Sterling was overlooked by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences during the In Memoriam segment at the 77th Annual Academy Awards Ceremony, despite her Oscar nomination in 1955 for her supporting role in The High and the Mighty. This omission was notable given her significant contribution to the film industry, especially considering her acclaimed performance in the movie. She came from a notable lineage as a descendant of two American presidents, John Adams and John Quincy Adams. This heritage was honored through the naming of her son, Adams Douglas, with actor Paul Douglas. Her family background and connections to American history added an interesting layer to her personal life, connecting her to the country's early leadership. In her acting career, she was part of the cast in The Harder They Fall, playing Beth Willis. This film is remembered for its stellar cast, including three Oscar winners, Humphrey Bogart, Rod Steiger, and Jack Albertson, alongside Sterling, who was an Oscar nominee herself. Her participation in such a distinguished group highlighted her skills and the recognition she received from her peers in the industry. In Italy, almost all Jan Sterling's movies were dubbed by different voice actors. However, in Union Station, her voice was done by someone else, and in High School Confidential, another person did the dubbing. Critics loved her performance as Billy Dawn in the Chicago Touring Company of Born Yesterday. Columbia brought her to the West Coast to audition for the 1950 film version, but she lost the part to Judy Holliday, who won an Oscar for it. In the mating season, she played Betsy. The cast included five stars who earned Oscar nominations Jean Tierney, Miriam Hopkins, Thelma Ritter, Ellen Corby, and Jan Sterling herself. Jan Sterling, the actress, made her singing debut in the musical Silk Stockings in 1962. After that, she spent a lot of time in London, where she became close friends with the late Sam Wanamaker. She earned an Oscar nomination for her role as Sally McKee in The High and The Mighty, which was her only recognition by the Academy. Her talent really showed in that role, showing how good she was at acting different kinds of characters. She's remembered for her work in movies like this one, which proves how skilled and dedicated she was. Even though she didn't get much attention from the Oscars, she made a big mark on Hollywood. Her work in the entertainment industry is memorable, and her performance in this film proves just how talented she was. Jan Sterling portrayed Jedikovsky in Caged, a film featuring Eleanor Parker, Agnes Moorhead, Hope Emerson, Ellen Corby, and the Oscar-winning Jane Darwell. In the movie, her portrayal of Jedikovsky added depth to the ensemble, contributing to its impact. Alongside other great actresses, she showcased her talent, making her role memorable. The film, released during a time when powerful performances were celebrated, highlighted Jan Sterling's acting alongside other talented actresses. Her role remains significant in her career, showing her ability to play diverse characters authentically. Her contribution to Cage reflects her dedication to acting, seen in her company with acclaimed actresses. The recognition of several Oscar-nominated and winning talents in the film speaks to its quality, with Jan Sterling among them. In summary, Jan Sterling's performance in Cage demonstrates her skill and presence in cinema alongside celebrated actresses of her time. It adds depth to her career, showing her ability to shine in a cast filled with talent.